light years ahead, man. Niggas think I be joking when I be saying shit like that. I be serious. Bro, you all right? Yeah. What up, bro? This is my business partner. I want you to enter. Like, he the other yeah, side to talk to him. I okay. met you at, uh, that one shit in... Oh, yeah, the who's who. Who's oh, who? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the last one? No, the one before, oh, the one before that. Before okay, that. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try yeah. about to get me, too. We about to just go blow up, for real. I got an uh, archive sale this weekend. So, about to try to get that shit situated. Okay, okay. Well, you know, that was another introduce yeah, you know? little niggas, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You locked all the way. It's like that seat back and shit too today. My boy, we about to get to it, man. It's time. Today, what we about to do for today is I got manufacturing equipment coming in today. So we're going to look into that today. Right now, I got my assistant. She about to meet us at the uh, store. We about to sort through all this archive stuff that I got in my mama's garage. I got like hella product from like old seasons. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just shit throughout the years. I even got shit I made back in high school in here. Like back when I was just making shit under my name. So, oh, you see, that's rehab. It's crazy, that shit popped right up. You know, flag shit. But, uh, this is the last public weekend for the flag shit. So, we, we not getting rid of the building, because I already got a couple questions. People saying, are you getting rid of the building? No, we just going back to what worked best for us in terms of workload, our business, our real original business model. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just keeping the shit exclusive again. Trying to you know the store the store i love the store of death but i ain't gonna lie that's a different beast it's like more than i could have did on my own not in terms of like sales and stuff because we of course like we in detroit and we one of the biggest brands in detroit so we did that but i went from being collection based to where i could focus on content and like collateral projects like a whole group of projects compared to me trying to keep a store stock so it was like that's just completely different Cause then you gotta just hair up and just make stuff to keep the store in stock. So when your customers come in, they not just seeing the same stuff over and over again. And that kind of took away from my passion for it. Like I was turning into like a fast fashion brand. Because I'm not I wasn't taking my time on like collections and projects and different collaboration projects and uh, different private events and fashion shows, which I eventually want to get into. I feel like that's more in my lane because I'm saying me myself is I'm a person too. So like people gravitate towards me as well so i didn't want the clothes to just be like oh he just dropping stuff every week to keep the store stock because then then i was gonna water myself down i was gonna oversaturate the market with a rival it was better how i had it before so now we're about to do for the winter we bought all the equipment to go into in-house production it means is we no longer have to outsource um, our screen printing our embroidery our manufacturing Besides, like, a couple of our console pieces, but I'm in the process of getting a seamstress right now. And buying an industrial sewing machine, too, so we can just have that aspect, too. But right now, um, I got uh, two four-pallet screen print machines coming in. So, for those who don't know what screen print is, that's, um, it's like this. That's screen print. It's almost, it's like ink. It's like paint that goes into the, the, uh, the garment. So that shit's about to make everything easier. I already got me a full-time screen printer. He's an older guy. He's been screen printing clothes for literally 42 years. Y'all eventually meet him on the vlog. But um, yeah, he's been screen printing all my clothes for years. We kind of like on a first name basis now. So he enjoys working with me because not only do I keep him busy, but it's like I bring in, like we take our time with it. You know what I'm saying? We're not just rushing through it. We're focusing on different fabrics, paints, colors. We really try a lot of different shit. I'm gonna meet him, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the uh, in-house manufacturing opportunities for a very select few people. So, um, my sister right now she worked on the application process on how we're gonna go about accepting clients because the manufacturing is just for myself and the brand and like a couple of the homies that want to do merch, like all my bigger rapper friends who need merch and stuff done, so we can have something that we control so we can push out product however we feel like whenever we feel like it basically if it makes sense we will open up our resources to other brands um other artists that that don't work with me on hand and we kind of want to just have the opportunity for people to come work with the best out of detroit and i say that humbly i got a resume you know what i'm saying in the industry creative world and that's another reason why um we're going private again too so i can get back to traveling I saying like this past year my traveling went from I used to travel every single month for work 
uh, for vacation, for networking, just pulling up. So I was real big on network traveling. So I did a lot of that shit. And this past year I had to sit back because I had to operate and run a store. So with this new day and age, uh, you know what I'm saying, the internet and running a brand, it's kind of different, man. It's like stores, they kind of slow up your motion a little bit. Like you kind of get watered down. That's my opinion though. And I also, I grow like every month or two in terms of like my thought process. Well, one person may think it's successful, I may think above that after like a month or two. So like I'm always developing. And I kind of like that about myself. Like nothing ever, nothing ever like satisfies me. That makes sense. Like money is never the problem because I know how to go make some money. But like the terms of growth and hitting higher peaks and higher levels and doing this and doing that, that's what I want to do. I never want to like reach a point like, oh, you do, you do stores now. Like just, just focus on the stores, do good on the stores. I don't want to do that. I want to go bigger than that. Temporary stores in different cities for the holiday time, three, four at a time. Or I want to do crazy ass pop-up shops. Um, I eventually want to get into complex cons. And you know what I'm saying? All the big festivals and doing collaborations with the festivals like Rolling Loud. Like Rolling Loud. Like doing merch for them and having big ass pop up shops going Rolling Loud. Like that's the type of time I'm on and me and the team that we're building right now. We don't want to be confined in Detroit. Like we love Detroit. That's how we came back to give to give the community this shit that we didn't build and that we didn't grasp and took other cultures or gave our culture to other people outside the outside of Michigan and now we want to come back and get the culture here then. So we did that and we're going to continue to do that because now it's just private headquarters so if you know, you know. And if you want to have, a, you can still make appointments but the appointments now have a higher minimum than they once did so it's like it's going to be probably cheaper if y'all just buy the shit online. You know what I'm saying? So yeah man, we on the way there now. We, we catch y'all in a minute. Get back man. Yeah, so we got the um, archive stuff. See, a bunch of different random stuff. They're all great products still. But just like random grills damn there. So we got rhinestone hoodies. It's a three. It's like stuff that people miss. A little bit of everything. Denim jackets. We got shorts in here. We got a lot of stuff for real. Tees. So these are like art three four things for the archive items. So we gonna organize everything for the archive sale. Um, so this is the last weekend at the store. Um, publicly. So next time y'all guys see in here, uh, everything pretty much look the same. So like for example, we already start bringing our screens up. So these are some of our screens. I still gotta go get the rest of them. So this is the stuff I use to make items. So I, think, uh, I use to put this together. So, boom, boom. so next time I show. Next time y'all see the store is gonna be completely different. We're gonna have a recording studio right here. Then we're gonna have the setup right here, desk setup, boom, um, iMac, the two speakers. So this area is gonna be like a little private studio. So like when I'm recording music for like Aaron or like Tuski, like all, all my niggas, they can come in here and record shit. And then over here, this is gonna be like a shipping center. So I'm gonna have like thermal printers here that print my uh, labels. And then back here I'm gonna have all like the shipping stuff, so like different packages. The stickers we uh, send with packages, um, you know what I'm saying? The uh, thank you cards, all that good shit. Then over here, uh, we all this stuff still gonna be here. These might just move though, or we might just use these to like start drying products. But then these definitely gonna get moved. We gonna have we gonna store our paints in here. So I had to order a bunch of different paints and inks. So all that stuff is gonna go right there. Then we are gonna have a big ass screen print machine right here. Yes, I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna move that. The big ass screen print machine is gonna be here or like right here, one of the two. And it's gonna be the one that spins, so you pull it down, heat press, turn it. We're gonna have one here, and then when the second one on back order, the second one will go right here. So we got two screen print machines, and then like all this shit is gonna be, it's gonna be like, it's not gonna be new, it's not gonna be stuff that's released. So all this shit that's still gonna start being hung up, like when them racks over there, and like over there, that's all this is gonna be like unreleased shit, like samples, 
stuff that's coming out, different shit like that. So the point is, this base is gonna be headquarters for like everything creative, specifically for me and my team. But so now this is officially headquarters. Uh, we're gonna black out them windows because it's gonna be private operations in here now. Um, and yeah, so we still gonna have the space. We just utilizing it even more now. So we gonna everything that we print, like shit like this. I used to print this at a factory, and I'm like, I'm like, let's cut the middleman out and just do the shit ourselves. You feel me? So that's where we at with it now. Just print right here in house, literally. Record, I'll sit right here, record a song, come out here, print some samples, and then I um I just ordered a backdrop. Uh, backdrop. Um, this thing is movable, so I'm not sure the actual setup yet until everything coming here. But I ordered a mobile backdrop so I can even do my lookbook shoots in here, my product shots. You know what I'm saying? Just put this bitch right here, roll it out, boom. Take my take my photo shoot shots like right here. This is gonna be like everything in house, like everything we need to do. We can just do that shit right here. Yeah, man. So that's where we at with it for real. It's like it's almost like a. I had something like this in LA. That costs more than this spot, which is crazy. Like my spot in LA, it was this warehouse space, like creative space. So yeah, we just be home now. So this was that puff print bitch. This shit was so quality. And it just had a rival made with love in it. Like all my tags, damn, they tell a different story for real. But this quality right here, this is heavy ass fresh terry. Puff print on the back. I gotta throw this bitch on the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna iron this bitch out. But who remember this French Terry tea? It's a rival made with love on the tag. It was a puff print. This was puff print before niggas started overdoing puff print. You feel me? This was a puff print when that shit was cool. Shout out, shout out my people. Unusual, man. Shout out my people, unusual. This was. This uh, is a brand out of Dubai. But they fuck with me heavy. I fuck with them heavy too. I can't I can't disclose the I can't disclose the business we did, but I fuck with them for real. They they damn near helped me figure out my worth, if that makes sense. They was like they they helped me understood who the fuck I was for real. Was so crazy during the pandemic. These was like niggas hustle fits. Swear to God, niggas come by. I got the match of Swiss. They have in black this color. They come by these bitches, throw them bitches on with some Balenci's. And they cross by, y'all know the 2020, 2020 pandemic swag. Niggas was eating that shit up, I'm telling you. But no, this old design, Atlanta design. I swear to God, I can't complain. You know what I'm saying? That's, this, I told y'all about the, uh, the mom, the, the mind games, T, when I was, that's back when I first got exposed to, like, badass bitches for real. So I was just chasing. And then I started having so, boom, swear to God, I can't complain. You know, I really be, I ain't telling nobody, but that was, I really be telling my own story through this shit. <laughs> For real, though. I was going to put all this shit online, like archive sale online, but I don't feel like doing that shit. That shit going to take way too much time to re-upload each and every pilot for like just two, three each size. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, here's what I'm going to do. We already got some sale items over here, like order items. So that came from this shit too. So I'm gonna separate everything by buckets, at least the t-shirts. All the old shirts and like random shit, like by size, I'ma separate them. I'ma just we gonna put prices on the, the buckets alone. You know what I'm saying? That way, I don't really gotta do too much. And tomorrow, when I come in tomorrow to start the sale, I can like post like on the stories like boom, we got this for sale, DM to buy. So I get the money instantly. Because Shopify holds my money for like a week. Which I like it because I'm kind of, you know, if you're irresponsible and you do Shopify, don't do your payouts every day. Put them for like one day a week on Fridays or Mondays. So like you kind of get a lump sum at once. That's free game. Because if you just, if you do like three sales a day, you get $300 and they deposit the next day. If you spend how I spend, you won't see that shit. You know what I'm saying? So if you do about three hundred dollars a day, three four hundred a day, even two hundred a day, you let that shit stack up and add up. Let that shit stack up and add up, and they give you the lump sum. Now you feel like you made more, cause now you seeing more at one time.
Which one you want? This one. I got the other one. The last 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 one. I might just give it to you, bro. I got them balances still in the car, too. If you want them, bitches. Mm -hmm. Hey, white, I'll show you. If you want them, you can take them, bro. Yeah. Where, man? Here got the 40 cents for y'all boys, man. Me and the guys do push-up. Me and my, the guys do push-up competitions per day. Got to get it in anywhere. Oh no! When they're recording, they ain't even gonna believe me. That shouldn't have vlogged. Oh, it's in the vlog, but the goal is at least 400 a day. But my man said he doubling up, so he doing 800. So I gotta try to match him. You know what I'm saying? Our cop sale, ready to go tomorrow, man. Our cop sale, we got. We gonna put the bands in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, come beat this shit up. I might put it online, I might not. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, man, we about to go pick up this new machine. Uh, new screen print machine. About to go pick that bitch up. And then, yeah, that's it for the day. Busy day, but we took care of business. We stood tall on it, so let's get it. Okay, so they're going to try again tomorrow. Said so they will try again. They're going to try tomorrow? Yeah, it, that's the, it says unfortunately UPS ran into an issue when attempting to your delivery. They will try again. Okay, I see him at the door. You don't need stuff. Of course. They always leave packs, I guess they say. We, that screen print machine costs, you know, that shit costs some bread for real. They're not leaving that shit. Let me show y'all something. I posted this. I posted this. I said 2018. I did it the low. There you go. It said, I said 2018. People was demon saying, that's not, you didn't make that 2018. That's new. I posted this. Niggas like, bro, I'm just not dropping shit like that in 2022. I gotta catch up. All them pieces ahead of his time. 2018 means crazy. People like, you didn't make that in 2018. I made it in 2018, bro. Come on. Why, I'm, why would I make this shit up? This shit is all right here with the dates. Light years ahead, man. Niggas think I be joking when I be saying shit like that. I be serious. They gonna get it one day, though. Forty got my pants sagging, singing down the block. Where is yours? Tony said it. Y'all be checking, tell me she go crazy around them wild niggas. Wild nigga, plenty drip. And my style different. Different. Twelve snatch me up. What? Ain't no crime committed. Bitch